Finally, I would note that the end of war in Iraq reflects a larger transition. The tide of war is receding. The tide of war is receding. The tide of war is receding. Four years ago, I promised to end the war in Iraq, and I did. I was able to keep my promise and end the war in Iraq. We're leaving behind a sovereign, stable, and self-reliant Iraq. We've decimated Al-Qaeda's leadership. We've put that terrorist network on the path to defeat. We've put Al-Qaeda on the path to defeat. As a consequence, Al-Qaeda's core leadership has been decimated. We've got Al-Qaeda on the run. These long wars will come to a responsible end. We will bring America's longest war to a responsible end. And our war in Afghanistan will come to a responsible end. The Taliban raising its flag in the northern Afghan city of Kunduz. It will maintain 5,500 troops at a small number of bases. I will not put American boots on the ground in Syria. The president announced that 50 U.S. Special Operations troops would be heading to Syria. I want to speak to you about what the United States will do to degrade and ultimately destroy the terrorist group known as ISIL. We don't have a strategy yet. We don't yet have a complete strategy. We have the right strategy, and we're going to see it through. ISIS is gaining strength, aren't they? Well, I don't think they're gaining strength. Our goal has been first to contain, and we have contained them. Last night's deadly attacks that killed 129 people, including an American. ISIS now claiming responsibility. The United States is never going to retreat from the world.